Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of FAQOV, and today's questions actually have the same answer. The first one comes from Shane, which is, how do I increase the mid-range of my voice, the strength of it, that is? And the second one comes from Mike, which is how to increase his range in general. And there's a great exercise that I incorporate into my warm-up routine right before I um, go up on stage. I usually do a couple of these and it's really, really useful in stretching out the vocal cords, getting it ready and warmed up. And it's really, really useful in strengthening the muscles in your abdomen and also the flexibility of your face. And most importantly, your soft palate, which I like to call the third vocal cord. It's the flap of muscle that, that uh, separates your mouth from your nose. It's the thing that makes this noise when you snore. That's your soft palate against uh, your, your, um, the back of your mouth. That allows you to catch the air as you're singing up. And, this is, and here is the exercise that you can do um, to help strengthen that and everything else that's involved with it. It goes like this and sounds quite a bit like this. So, and you can start anywhere from your voice. You can start low, so, and then keep going up, so, and then go next to the next part, so, until you reach a point where you feel you're going to break or it doesn't feel comfortable, and hopefully that place that comfortability, that strength, that stretching, that flexibility will increase over time as you do this exercise. Now, the elements of this exercise that are very important to note if you're going to do it correctly. As you go up, your abdominal muscles increase in tension. It's tight down here. And I'm not talking about flexing a muscle. I'm talking about squeezing the belly button all the way back to your spine as you hit that high note. So by the time you get to oh, your abdominal muscles, your belly button should be squeezed back to your spine. That's the direction that it's going. So it's it's less when you're down low. So and then increases as you keep going. Now, the next element that I need to address in order for this to be the most effective is what's happening here in the mouth. When I start low, I'm like this. I end like this. So, watch again. So, you see how I slid between this to this? It's very important that you do that in order to um, be congruent with the uh, breath that you're doing. So when you squeeze in with your abdominals, you lift the cheeks up as you're going higher. It, it all is very parallel and, and is it harmonious with the pitch that you are creating with your voice. So, and then the other thing that's very important to note about this exercise, you have to, have to slide. You cannot jump up to the note. Just go, so, oh, that's very, very, that's a, that's a lot of strain in your voice that you do not have to put on that, on it. So make sure that you're sliding with this exercise. So again, I will demonstrate. So, so, until you reach a point, like I said before, that you don't feel comfortable anymore. And you can also do this in falsetto, or your Mickey Mouse voice, rather. C, same concept. Do it on C, though, not so. C, at least I find that most effective. Experiment with that. You know, see what feels comfortable for you, uh, and. And please, both of you, let me know whether that exercise, uh, you know, helps you in your, uh, in your singing and your performances, whether that makes a difference for you or not. So, given that, ladies and gentlemen, Shane, Mike, thank you so much for watching this, and I will see you all next week. Until next time, always remember, practice makes progress, and it will help you find your voice. See you next time.